What's going on, buddy? My name is Ethan, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be getting into videos in HTML. So we're gonna be learning how to put videos on our web page. That's great. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use two different tags: the video tag and the source tag. Actually, we're also gonna use the track tag, uh, which is not always necessary. Um, so let's get started with the video tag. So in the video tag is going to be our source tag and our track tags. That is not the source tags. That is also not the source tag. Okay. Um, does the source tag have an ending? No, it doesn't. I'm really stupid. Sorry. Um, there we go. So we have the video tag and then the source and track tags in there. So in our source tag is where we're going to put our video source. So what our video is. So we're going to use the source attribute SRC equals to and then uh, quotations. And then we're going to pick our file. Um, or link if you're using a hyperlink, and we're just gonna do media because uh, that's my media folder, and I'll do my MP4 file because MP4 is a video, and it's just a mac and cheese video and just more food and stuff. Now I can see here, this takes up a lot of my screen. How do I do that? We'll head over to the video file, uh, not the video file, the video tag, and inside this tag we can put the width and the height. Now I'm not gonna put the height because I'm gonna use a responsive web design, and a responsive web design. It's making our website flow across devices. So let's set this to 60%. So it's going to show up 60% of the width on my screen, um, on my computer. And if I did it on a phone, it would show up on 60%. If I did it on a TV, it would show up at 60%. And then the height's going to, to adjust with it and show up as 60% as well. And that's a responsive web page. Now it's also not starting. How do I do that? Well, you can make it start automatically by typing in the autoplay attribute. All you got to do is type in autoplay. As we can start here, it has autoplay. Now, what if I want to hear it? What if I want to pause it? What if I want captions and all that stuff? Well, then you can use the controls attribute. You're just going to type in controls. You're going to start it. There we go. It's going to start automatically because we have autoplay. And then it's going to give you controls and all of that fun stuff. And yeah, there we go. Now, what if I want it muted for whatever reason? Well, I can just do the muted. And then it's going to start muted. And it's not going to be muted forever. We can see here we have the um, the unmute button. So I could just unmute it. And you guys can't hear it, but I can. And yeah. Uh, it has sound. That is crazy. I know. Now what if I wanted the video to just play forever? Well, then I can use the loop attribute. And then it's just going to loop over and over again. That simple for you. Crazy. There's something here in the source tag, and that you don't always have to do this, but some cases you do. Now, inside the source tag, we can use the type attribute, and we're into the type of file, so or type of media. So we could do video um, forward slash, and then we'll just do MP4. We'll save it, and there we go. Nothing really changes. Um, it kind of lets people know if they're viewing your web page or checking your code. Kind of knows what they're looking for. It's also making sure you have the right file, so you say, okay, it's MP4. This is MP4, uh, and stuff like that. So. Very good for organization. Now let's get into the track tag. So the track tags, we're just going to input data about um, the video. So it's basically a child. It's a child of the video tag, like the source tag, and it basically just gives data about it. Um, and yes, we could put metadata in here. So we're going to use the source tag, and we're going to put in our data. So let's say I have subtitles or captions. I can put that file in here. So I could use my mac.vtt file, which is like a text, like some video file. It's like a video text file. Then we're going to use the kind attribute, not type, but kind. And we have a bunch of different options right here. So I could put subtitles. If I said this was subtitles, um, if I click on this now, these three dots on my controls, I can see I have captions now. Um, and if I had stuff, captions and stuff, I could turn them on and off with this now. Uh, we can also, there's a captions setting as well, captions value you can put in. There's also metadata. So if you had metadata, you can put metadata in there. You can put descriptions. Or you could put chapters. That's the other ones you can use. I'm going to put this back up to subtitles, though. Um, and there we go. Now it says it is subtitles. You can also put the language of this text file. So we could do um, source lang. And then we could put our abbreviation. So for English, we would do en. For Norwegian, uh, you could put no. For, I think it's Mandarin is zh. Um, Spanish is es. So yeah. And then, of course, we can put the label tag which is just going to define the language well, without abbreviations. We can just do English. Um, and there we go. It says that these subtitles are in English. It doesn't say the video is in English, just these subtitles. 
So that's something to know. And there it is. That is videos in HTML. It's very simple, like we just did. The next video, we're going to get into audio, which is kind of more simpler than this. There's only two tags, the, um, the audio and the source tag. Yes, we're going to be using the source tag in the next video. But I will see you guys in that audio video or whatever other HTML video. I have more. There's a card above the video if you want to check that out. Um, please like and subscribe. It's free. Change your mind later on. It really does help me out. Leave a comment or criticism. I love criticism. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.